Checking. Okay, there we go. Microphone is on. Now just got to... And there we go. And I think... Okay, doesn't matter, we're fine. Doesn't have to be perfect anyway. That's just for fun. Anyway, Dragon Warrior stream today. Here we go, continuing the quest of rock. Last time we left off, we got the best sword in the game, which is fantastic. Uh, we are very near to gaining a level, 730 points to go. I believe, yes, we're level 17, we're about to get level 18. And just checking, okay, we're full up on herbs and stuff. Very good. We're going to go run the Dragon Lord's Castle and fight stuff for experience. Going to grind out these this last couple levels. We're going to get level 18 and 19. I believe at level 19 is when we get the last spell, which in the original Dragon Warrior is called Hurtmore. In this updated version, it's called Frizzle. Because I applied some ROM hacks that uh, <clears throat> update all the spell names. Some of the dialogue, maybe, and I'm not sure I remember exactly all the things, but it also updates, I applied one that updates the sprites, and last time we found out that the two ROM hacks that I applied to this ROM aren't, strictly speaking, compatible, or one of them was perhaps not tested very well, because... The graphics glitch out when we fight the final form of the Dragon Lord. Now, it seems that everything is still perfectly functional, with the caveat that um yeah, that's uh that we can't actually see the numbers. I'm checking my closed captioning thing real quick to make sure that's working. Okay, 
Lots of little glitches as we get started up today, but that's okay. Closed captioning is working now. We are fighting some dudes. We're getting our experience. Anyway, Dragon Lord is super glitchy, but because the menus and everything are all in the same place, it's not a big deal. Um, it just means that I have to keep track of my hit points and magic points in my head. <laughs> I have to guess based on my knowledge of the Dragon Lord's attacks how much damage he's doing. We have only the the only feedback we have is that the palette still turns pinkish red whenever um, whenever we're low on health. But that's not super it's not super helpful because He's got attacks that can do over 50% of our life in damage. Well, I mean like maximum. Over 50% of our maximum health. That spell is blocked, Star Weaver. I don't even know why I'm fighting you. I shouldn't fight things that can heal themselves. It's not even that fun. And we shouldn't fight Demon Knights because... They're not a cool enemy to fight. I'm going to go into the castle, where things give a little more experience. And we'll bust some heads in there. And it'll be great. It'll be great. We'll fight some stone men, we'll fight some dragons. Maybe a wizard or two, if we're feeling feisty. Star women. Why are you blocking me in front? I don't even like you. Okay. Um, we'll do a regular heal. Two of those is eight magic points. I'm trying to conserve magic points in general. Not that big a deal here because the main uh, reason for saving him up, at least last time, Oh, thou art asleep. Dang it. I forgot I'm up against an axe knight. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna take a little more damage, keep fighting stuff, and I'll cast mid-heal whenever I get really low. Like right there. Fourteen. I liked it better when he was doing three damage. Anyway, there we go. Alright. So we don't know exactly... I wish I knew more about how the encounter rate works in this game. Sometimes we get long stretches of walking around with no issue. Sometimes we get a fight like every, every step. Alright, I'm just going to straight up fight him. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Trying to cover up the microphone there. Sorry about the sneeze. There we go. Doing alright with Axe Knights these days. Having the best sword is definitely helpful. Green Dragon. We'll go ahead and put him to sleep. Why not? It's just fun sometimes. Not to take any damage. Well, alright, we took a little damage. 45. Alright, we're gonna fizzle and fight him. There we go. We might be able to get this one without taking much damage. Just doing little hits. Those will add up. I like it when he wastes his turn on a blocked spell. Oop. Here we go. Alright, and we'll go ahead and cast Glow. We're not really 
worried about magic point expense right now. We've got some backup herbs. We have some other interesting things. We're gonna head up to the roof. If we if we make it there. Don't wanna fight a star weaver. Don't wanna fight you. I want to fight straightforward enemies that are not complicated. Okay. Spell will not work. Alright, I'll try once more to fizzle him. There we go. Good timing. That spell has been blocked. 18. Locked. 29. Frizzle is blocked. I need to get my frizzle. Two more, two more levels, or one in, one in a bit levels. Status. What do I, what do I want to do? Quailins. Oop. No! I didn't mean to use a torch. Whatever. It's, um, Okay, I didn't even read that because I was too distracted by wasting a torch. It is interesting. Alright, 305 points left to go for the level. It's interesting that if you use a torch after having cast um, Glow... Come on, wake up. Wake up. That the torch will override it and set your your visible area to one, even if your spell hasn't run out. They obviously didn't account for accidental torch uses. 54 experience for an axe knight. Here we go. Stone man. I think we can put these to sleep. Yeah. I don't think he stays asleep very long. Yeah. He wakes up awful quick. We'll snooze him again. Why not? Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Takes me a few more hits. So you stay asleep and I will finish you off. There we go. 65 experience. I like that. Alright. Frizzle, frizzle this fella, or not frizzle, we'll fizzle him. These spell names, I tell you what. Fizzle. There we go. Alright, he's down to regular attacks. Which is, are not very good. A blue dragon. I believe these ones, we can't cast spells on them or prevent spells. We just have to ride it out, cast mid hill if we need it. But that's fine. Looks like not too many. Ooh, that's good value for the number of hits we're taking. Is that 65? The spell will not work! Uh oh, alright, we can probably take one more hit. Put him to sleep. Stay asleep. 42 damage is good. 27. 27. Is this the last hit? No, nope, but he stayed asleep, so it's fine. Perfect. Alright, we're a little low on health, so we'll probably have to cast mid heal. After. One attack or so. Breathing fire. Ten. Hopefully he's not going to do 30 damage. He's probably going to do a bunch though. Alright. Mid heal. 96. There we go. Still doing big hits, but we'll have him here in a second. There we go. Alright. 
courage and wit have served thee well, thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increases by 12, thy response speed increased by 5. Thy maximum hit points increased by 15. Nice, and thy maximum magic points increased by 8. Cool. Let me, oop, not stairs. Just want to look. Alright. That is good. Big chunk of hit points up. More magic points. Attack and defense up. That's what we like. Alright. Blue dragon. Probably have a few thousand hit points to go for the next level. I don't know exactly how many, so we'll just check that real quick. 2,891. Okay, so we'll get to 22,000 experience, and that's our next level. Lucky run through that room. No encounters, which means we're getting our hit points back up. It's not too high relative to our maximum at this point. Stay asleep, Stone Man. We're going to take all your points. Stay asleep. There we go. Alright, he hit us a few times, such that we will probably need to mid-heal really quickly. We're just going to wander around. And the other fun thing is, dying doesn't matter to us at this point. Because even if we die, we're not saving our gold, and the king only takes gold if we die. There's not much we need to purchase at this point in the game. So, death is just a quick warp back to the castle for all intents and purposes. Stone Man, fall asleep. Stay asleep. We did almost 50 damage. Oh! 44 damage. Can we do him in three hits now? No. If we'd have done another 40 plus, that would have maybe got him in three. Let's go and get the treasure again. See if we can get the treasure multiple times. Alright. Need to fizzle this guy. I think because he can put us to sleep and do big damage. So we'll watch his attacks and our health points. He cannot frizzle. Alright, we're gonna have to mid heal. There we go. Waste your turn, that's right. You can't do it, I blocked you. Fizzle this fellow. I love it when spells work. I love the simplicity of the magic system in this game. Where sometimes things don't work, but it's not so much a matter of complicated resistance, like in the stats of the the enemy it's just like sometimes they have a strong resistance but mostly it's if it can work at all it's just a matter of is it going to work the first time or do I have to spend two or three turns to get a successful spell cast 70 yes all right we are running low on magic points but we'll just we'll just run over here and get some treasure again because why not something to do 
I don't... Alright, gotta fizzle this fellow. The spell will not work. We'll fizzle one more, one more time. There we go. We are now out of the range where we can cast mid heal. So we are probably gonna get out of here pretty quickly after this. Either that or we're gonna die pretty quickly after this. We shall see. Alright, for the sake of safety, we'll use some herbs. There we go. Magic key! Cursed belt! We can just keep selling that belt. I guess I didn't... What should we discard? Yeah, let's discard the belt. I don't actually care about that. We could sell it, but wings are more useful. Um, some gold, see. That's fun. I found the herb. Fantastic. Stone man. Let's put him to sleep. don't know if we can evac. I don't remember how much, if it costs 8 or 6. Herb, okay. Yay! We got free wings, so we'll go here. We'll get our magic points back. Fantastic. Let's save the game real quick, and we'll go back for another run. How goes the quest to body the Dragon Lord and his cheater hacks? Uh, it's going well. We got uh, leveled up just a couple minutes ago, which is fantastic. We got a 15 point health, maximum health increase, which is pretty substantial considering that our last maximum was 100. So that's a 15% increase. Which is uh, awesome. Um, it turns out that the Dragon Lord has to be a merchant, according to our, um, you know, fan theory about what what his real purpose in Elfgard is. And the reason I'm saying he probably is a merchant, even though he regards himself as the King of Kings is because his treasure room is restocked every single time I go up there, which means he's doing some kind of business. Excellent move. I just did 64 points of damage to a, a slime. I don't, I don't even think he was alive to feel the impact. That poor slime. Right, right. Goodness. Controller input errors. So, we have a couple thousand experience points to go before we get the last spell. At level 19, we'll have all of the magic available to us in the game. Being a merchant and a ruler of the land are not mutually exclusive, if reality has taught me anything. Yes. And it's also pretty common that villainy ultimately has to do with power or profit and that those two things overlap almost always both in stories and in real life that if there's a villain almost assuredly there's profit involved in their plan
there's definitely a large inner portion of the Venn diagram of those two worlds. I'm feeling strong though. This last uh, level up, even though it didn't give me the last spell, is already feeling like it's turning the tides on how well I can handle the highest level Dragon Lord minions up on the top floor of his castle. Feeling strong, feeling strong. Ugh. Man. I need to get a new controller. I have, I accidentally earlier this year purchased a knockoff controller that is super cheap. It was very affordable, like in terms of the dollar spent, this knockoff controller is sufficient, but there are occasionally significant errors in like which direction uh, it's interpreting my d-pad as pointing to so i have to be really ex you know explicit in like being on the extreme edge of the d-pad plastic to make sure that it registers the direction properly but uh you know it works and it's not that big a deal in an rpg i'm not platforming or anything it's just Occasionally, my little hero wanders around in circles for a minute and goes the wrong way. But we can handle it. I was also musing on, like, I kind of wish that I knew, I understood the encounter rate a little better. I'm just going to straight up fight this guy. He's going to put me to sleep, but I can get my health points back. He, it was really just like three hits for 54 experience points, and also I regained my health pretty quickly. If, if this guy takes me down low, I might have to cast a mid-heal, but for the most part, feeling pretty strong. But yeah, I'm, I'm unclear on encounter rate, and since I'm contemplating the creation of RPGs of this sort, it makes me wonder, like, what, what range, what constraints do I want to put on an encounter system? Sometimes I can walk through, in this game, an entire, an entire level of a castle and not have any encounters. But there are other times where every consecutive step for like three steps is another encounter. Like I'll win a fight, I'll take a step, and um, and they'll, and it'll, it'll just it'll be another dude. And I'm like, it, fe it feels a little weird. It can be intense sometimes. It's not. I'm not going to call it, like, wrong, but I have this feeling like I would want to allow uh, there to be a minimum number of steps. Because I'm pretty sure steps are part of the formula in this. Like, number of steps you take. I don't know when it's generating that, or, or how often it changes. But I feel like it's like number of steps. And I feel like if I make such a system, I would want to have like a minimum of three or four steps or something. That you always get to move a little bit of space before encountering another thing. Yeah, one, yeah, one step, it just, it just feels like too much. Like right there, I took three or four steps. And it's like, oh, there's just a bunch of dudes in this hallway. Mentally, it doesn't create as much friction if I get three or four steps in. Right there, it was like five steps. It's like, yeah, maybe that's a little sooner than I wanted, but it's not really that big a deal. Three or four is a good minimum. And I think as a maximum, it's fun sometimes to allow a long stretch of 
walking, even in a, uh, you may be especially in a difficult dungeon. And it could be possible to go a longer distance once in a while. See, that there's a one step. That feels like I'm fighting the same blue dragon. Like I just defeated him, but nope, he's still alive. Alright, gonna do a mid heal. Woo, so many hit points. Triple digit hit points feels good. Given your trajectory, it means you stepped over that dragon on your way to the previous dragon. Yes. <laughs> yes. It also, it takes, the, the programming for movement in this game, it feels really funny. Um, like, uh, it takes a while to, to develop a input pattern that doesn't have me bumping into walls all the time. The spell will not work. You know what? I don't want to deal with this guy. He... I I didn't didn't get my spell off three times. That means better to run away and get some health points back. Ooh, did I just beat that guy in two hits? That's efficient. Blue dragon. Do you like blue dragon? Stone Man! Oh man. I only have 37 hit points, but Stone Man is asleep. Let's hope he stays asleep. No! Now we got a mid heal. If he had just stayed asleep. I'm gonna try to put him to sleep again. You are very sleepy. Stay very sleepy. That's what I like. Is this enough? No, one more. Man, these guys have a lot of hit points. 65 experience, though. Do like, do like. Decent XP gains here, yes. This is why we're just running the castle. I'm just gonna go steal the treasure and go home every time. That's pretty much our, our plan. Take the treasure and go home. The cool thing about the treasure is, it seems to be giving me herbs and wings. Which means, I don't have to save, enough, uh, save up enough magic points to zoom anymore. If we make it all the way up to the top of the castle, and um, take his treasure. Which we're about, we're almost there. Ooh, a red dragon. I think... I can't cast much on this guy. I just have to hit him really hard and cast mid heal and hope he doesn't put me to sleep. Nope, there he did it. This could be it. Wake up! There it is. Yep. Alright, little death warp. Because we don't need gold, death warp is acceptable. I will give thee another chance. We already cleared half the XP to level 19. We started with like 3k. Or, yeah, about 3,000. Or a little over 2,000 something. So we're like halfway through our grind already. Feeling good about this. Feeling good about this. Maybe, I can't remember if I can even cast Stop Spell on a Red Dragon. All the spell resistances are basically fifth, like no resistance, fifty percent, or um, whatever fifteen out of sixteen is. So there's always a possibility that you can cast one of these spells 
uh, successfully on any creature, but you, you obviously don't want to stand there taking hits for 16 turns looking for your 1 out of 16 chance to, you know, stop his spell or put him to sleep or whatever. But it's interesting. It's interesting. I feel like this is another one of things. Giving the given the precision of some number out of 16 as a basis for probability. Um, I feel like it's it's uh, it's definitely useful to have big jumps to where you can tell the difference of how resistant a particular enemy is but you know there's there could be also like not just 50 percent and 95 percent you know as a uh, as the options i feel like you could do one third and two thirds and still have those be meaningful thresholds um i'm gonna do uh do a quick break uh, to refill my beverage, and I will be right back, and we will continue questing for experience.
All right, we are back with coffee refilled. And I don't even remember where we are. Are we in the tunnel? I didn't cast any glow or torches, so I assume we're in the tunnel. Yes, ghosts and druids imply that we are indeed going through the tunnel. One more druin draws near. Ooh! I'm increasingly excited by the idea of different different kinds of things that can happen when an encounter occurs. We talked, I think on one of the previous streams, about Like, how to deal with lower level enemies that you are already plenty, like, plenty strong to defeat them. Or even, even occasionally, it could be like same level or higher level enemies that, that would like not notice you at first. That there is some, some little random number generated to determine whether the enemy sees you. Or whether they're minding their own business. Which is, I think, how you put it. Like, slime is minding its own business. <laughs> and then you can... You have the same options as usual. Fight. Run. Cast a spell. Whatever. Whatever the abilities are. And just thinking about ways to mix up this formula. Like basically, everything's almost the same in terms of the look and feel of the game experience. But more options within the within this template. If you run into an enemy minding its own business, any battles mean you chose violence that day. Yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> but other days, you're just like, oh, I was just going home. Slime was minding his own business. I just left, let him be. Today was a good day. Didn't even need my AK. No AKs required. You know? Because sometimes, sometimes you're just doing business. It's not about starting trouble. No drama. And I guess I, I've, I feel like we've chatted. I don't remember if it was on stream or just in chats elsewhere. But we chatted about the possibility that an encounter is something beneficial or interesting. Like the finding of a resource or some other benign element that you have the option to look into and and it could be good or bad like um like you know encounters with things other than fightable fightable monsters oh i forgot to fizzle I forgot to fizzle is frizzle there we go can't be having you frizzle me all the time, little wizard. Excellent move! 112, that's the most damage I've ever done in a single hit. 112 with an excellent move, that feels awesome. If this guy attacks me again, nope. He's not going to attack me again because he did. No. You are already dead. We'll just straight up fight the green dragon. He's not doing that much. Four damage this green dragon's doing to me now. I killed him in two hits. Being strong is so nice. Enemy didn't realize they were already dead. I uh, exploded his head with my... What is it? Now I can't remember. Fist of the North Star. Something like that. 
What a crazy show that is. I mean, I've only seen like one episode, but what a crazy show. All right, here we go. So here's another game design question. From the perspective that encounter rate is based on steps in some way, this incentivizes the game designer to create mazes in the, in the level layout. Mazes with dead ends and stuff like that. Places where you can get lost, winding pathways, many stairs. And, and, and it's within that context, it's, you know, you want to explore. You don't know where everything goes. So you want to, you want to find all the treasures. This kind of thing. But there's a part of me that always wants to try and at least imply that there's some sense to the layout of of something, especially if it's a castle like that's man-made. Like try to try to balance that sense of place with um, a sense of exploration. It's just pure video gamey exploration. And I'm not really sure where I fall on that continuum of whether I want to embrace the truly old school maze-like configuration or or lean over into um, some kind of realistic layout uh, I guess the problem with with realism is that it's boring also like if things are convenient to get to <laughs> then it's, then it's sort of boring all right this jerk is not gonna be my end there we go Rock awakes. There we go. Do big damage. 27, 28, one more ought to do it. Thou has done well in defeating. Alright. Oh, okay. Probably gonna have to cast mid heal right here. Yep. Breathing fire. Fair enough. All right. Blue Dragon has been defeated. Attack before I was ready. 18 points of damage, but I'm doing 22s. I like when my damage is more than the enemy. Makes me feel like I've really accomplished something in my personal development as an adventurer. Mm. 60 experience. Let's check Gwaylin's love. See what she has to say about our experience. 717! like almost there attack before I was ready dang it now I got a mid heal first thing it's fine though we'll get him 20 uh putting me to sleep all right rock awakes all right come on rock awakes rock awakes Let's wake up. There we go. I knew he didn't have that much left. It's funny to me now that I can survive being put to sleep by these heavy hitters. I can even regain a decent amount of hit points in between encounters. Like, this guy's probably gonna trash me on his next hit here, but... So, we'll do another mid-heal. Breathing fire, okay. Doing fine, 60. Almost there to level 19. Almost there. Yeah. 
There we go. Red dragon. Alright, I'm gonna double check again to see if I can cast stop spell on this jerk right here. Dragon, warrior, NES, red, dragon. I really need to bookmark whatever site it is that I've been using for this. Yeah. Uh, here. Yeah. Bookmark. We'll just put this straight on the... There we go. <clears throat> Alright, green dragon. No, we want the red dragon. Alright. Red dragon. Yeah, yeah. He has high resistance to all of the things. So we just fight him, we heal ourselves, and hope he doesn't put us to sleep for too long. Come on, Rock Awakes. Rock Awakes. He's still... There we go. There we go. Just don't cast it too often. Woo! Yeah, see? It doesn't take that many hits to defeat him. We just have to be awake to do it. Now this guy, I can fizzle... I can fizzle his spell. The spell will not work. Whoop! Gonna have to mid heal. I need to fizzle him because he can do sleep and heal himself. The spell will not work. Shoot, we're gonna have to run. I don't wanna deal with this guy. I don't wanna deal with this guy. I'm just gonna take the death warp if he kills me. Yep. Oh, well. Didn't get the treasure. <sighs> Dragon Lord's bulking up his security because he keeps taking his treasure. Alright. That's fine. 500 points to the next level. That means we're very close. Probably one more run to the castle. And we'll have it. We'll have the level anyway. Once we get the level, we'll still have to go back to the castle one more time to get our magic points restored and then do do a runaway run where we don't fight anybody. And uh, we save all of our attention for the Dragon Lord and all of our magic points as well, if possible. Should be fun, should be fun. to cast repel here. There's too many little dudes. Repel! The only spell that kept its name in this translation. go through the tunnel repel lost its effect and immediately we get an encounter skeleton Magic Draki draws near. Alright. Whatever. 
I'll fight a magic weaver. He's gonna try and put me to sleep. Come on, rock awakes. Come on. Come on. It is dodging. Come on. Alright. Star Weaver, not gonna bother. I will fight the werewolf. He's pretty straightforward. Forty not bad. Dodging. What's up with things dodging all of a sudden? The spell will not work. That spell will not work. You are already dead. Oh, Valiant Knight. All right, almost to the castle here. Yeah, probably chewed off a couple hundred points in that little walk up to the castle. Let's see where we are. 272. Oh, we're definitely leveling up. We'll probably level up before we get to the roof. Star Weaver? No, thank you. No, I would like to run. No, I don't want to fight with you. I just don't care for that encounter right now. Alright, Axe Knight, I will fight you. 26. 32. There we go. Two hits. Talking about. Green Dragon, I will fight you also. Excellent move, there it is. 45 points. Getting close. Spell. Glow. I love the sound effect of glow expanding my vision. You know, I wonder I wonder if it would be annoying or interesting to have like a large magical light be um something that increases encounter rate, which is to say draws the attention of monsters. Spoiler, Gwalen's love is actually just a cell phone. <laughs> So true. She was kidnapped not because she was the princess, but because, but because she was hoarding advanced tech. Oh man, the secret economic underpinnings of Dragon Warrior. That's what, um, that's what the Dragon Lord's really up to. He's trying to build up Magitech. He's already an experienced magician. But he needs that tech to complete his dominion over mankind and truly be the, the king of kings in his own mind. But it's not going to happen. Done saved that princess. We got the cell phones back. And now we can call home anytime just by feeling the love in our heart. Or in our cell phone. I love it when they stay asleep. Kaboom! Did we get him? Yes. 65. <gasps> this is it. One more battle. One more battle. Here it is. We're gonna level up on this battle. Dragon Lord wants the monopoly on communication. Can't have people just knowing how far they are from leveling up at any time. 
or how far they are from the castle at any time. You know, because if you know how far you are from the castle, then your GPS is too strong. Sixty experience points, hundred twenty-three gold. Courage and wit have served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increased by two. Response speed by two. That is not a very significant increase, but I will take it. Maximum hit points increased by fifteen again. That I like. Magic points by seven, and thou hast learned a new spell. Oh, we're gonna try this out. We got the frizzle now. All right, get ready to be frizzled. We have 89. Oh, it's only five. I just one shot at a blue dragon with five magic points. Let's do it to him, too. Frizzle. Ah! <laughs> I am so powerful. I have sword, but I also have. Magical bombs to throw. Frizzle bombs. Everything melts to frizzle. See, he's like, I know I'm gonna die, so I need to attack you before you're ready. Frizzle. They don't even know. I don't even know what to do with me. I think we're gonna get the treasure this time. The spell will not work! <laughs> what?! He has a resistance to Frizzle? No. Oh, he has, like, coin toss resistance to that spell. He's just winning the coin toss. Whatever. I'll just chop him. Okay. Okay. We'll fizzle. The spell will not work. Alright, fine. Then we will frizzle. The spell will not work. What a jerk. I'll just chop him. Mid heal. There we go. Good enough. Not the most economic encounter, but we'll work with it. All right. Snooze is still the operative. Best option for Stone Man. Still asleep. That's what I like. Woken up just in time to die. Almost 50 damage I did on that last hit. That is good for a normal attack. Alright, we're just going to straight up fight dudes. Let's save a few frizzles for the top floor. I'm gonna pull up Red Dragon again. Just to make sure I've got Red Dragon's info available at a glance. Ooh, I guess we're gonna mid heal. Breathing fire, that's fine. Yes, healing spells are the most expensive. Uh, a, b a level 1 heal is uh, 4 magic points. Um, mid heal is 10. Um, a basic uh, frizz, the level 1 hurt spell, is 2 magic points. And frizzle is 5. 
Seems like sometimes then it would be economical to frizzle where you'd need to mid heal if you did the fight normally. Uh, yeah. Assuming that there's no resistance to hurt spells, which some of the creatures have. Mid heal cannot be stopped. Frizzle can fail sometimes. But the economics of it is better. The spell will not work. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and try that again. The spell will not work. What a jerk. But I want to fizzle him. Alright. There we go. I blocked his spell. I'm gonna go ahead and try Frizzle just because I don't remember if he has... Sweet. I'll just attack him once. Yep. Okay, that was fun. Alright. So he's probably got a low or coin toss resistance to... We'll just, we'll just go straight to Frizzle. Yeah, 60 points of damage. That's pretty solid. Which means he's within range of one hit if I cast that successfully one time. Here we go. Magic key. See, that's always nice. It gives me a key for spending a key. Gives me some gold. Empty. Wings. Free wings. The cursed belt. No, I don't actually want the cursed belt. I don't I don't care. Empty. Okay. Uh we'll go ahead and evac and use our wings to go save the game. Yep. I love it too. Wings. Through the wings of the weaver and up into the sky. And it transports me home. I don't know why you wouldn't like wear the wings or chant something to invoke the power of the wing. You just toss them up in the air. And then you wake up next to the castle. Truly, truly magical. Alright, we're going to go save our game. We have all the power available in the game. We might we might level up a bit in our in our journey again. Yeah, I don't know if I feel like it should be possible to beat the game with all the spells here. Um I think as a kid, I beat the game at around level 24. I just did a bunch of extra leveling because I didn't know what the level cap was and I wanted to feel sufficiently strong. So I just made a bunch more runs into the castle probably to cultivate those experience points. I also love, in, with regard to the treasury and the keys and stuff, that there is no keys that are made specifically for certain doors in this game. All locks are magical and all keys are magical. And therefore keys are very expensive because they're also one-time use. One-time use. You use a key and then it ceases to exist. It will unlock any door and then disappear. It's, it, you know, it does a thing where it's like, m more than anything, the whole economy of keys affects navigation, like a lot of other things, you know, like the spells affect navigation and how long you can be out and about before you have to return to the castle. Keys are similar in that... If you run out of keys and find that you need them, there's only one town in the game where you can buy a key without first having to have one in your possession. There are some towns where you can spend a key to get into an advanced shop with cool, cool gear, and you can buy 
overpriced keys in there as well. Um, but it's it's sort of a, a nice feature of the Dragon Lord's Castle that they give you if you spend a key to get into his treasury, you get one back. I don't want to deal with magic weavers. I still don't want to deal with magic weavers. I don't want to deal with star weavers either. Dodging? It's no good. I don't dodge things. You're supposed to fall to my might. Fall! Okay. After this introductory level, I think we're going to run away from everything to conserve resources and do a run at the Dragon Lord. So... Here we're going to use a torch instead of magic. Uh, I guess I will fight a green dragon because they're not not going to mess me up very much. Yeah, two hits. That's fine. Attack before it's ready, doesn't matter. We're gonna start running away from everything. I'm just gonna take whatever hits people think they're gonna give me and run away, regain our health points while we walk. Stone Man, yep. Locked in front, doesn't matter, gonna run away. Locked in front, doesn't matter, gonna run away. Gotta work one of these times. Ah, oh, yeah, a one step, a one step to encounter is not fun. It's gotta be like three or four minimum. Locked in front, doesn't matter, gonna run away. There we go. All right. Yep, this way, around to the top. Around the loop here. Red dragon. I'm gonna run away from red dragons. Even red dragons can't stop me. I'm so agile. I'll just juke them out. Fake left, run right. They don't even know. Running away. One step to encounter. Always feels cheap. Two steps. Still not great. Running away. Running away from Red Dragon. Okay. Not bothering with the treasury this time. Going straight to the Dragon Lord. Locked in front, doesn't matter. Running away. Recovering hit points. Not using any magic until we get to the final encounter. Locked in front. It's fine. Running away. Locked in front. Running away. Locked in front three times. Come on now. There it is. Okay. Um... I'll use an herb just to make sure we don't tempt those fates. We must take care and tempt not the fates. Alright, alright. Run. 
There we go. One step to encounter. All right, here we go. All right. I'm going to zoom. Got to copy and had another scene in my layout here where the mic wasn't on. Okay. Um, also, I feel like my captioner thing is glitchy today as well. It doesn't seem to be responding everywhere. But at least the audio is coming through. Okay. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to talk to the Dragon Lord. Nope. We're not going to take his offer of being backstabbed. All right. He's going to fizzle. Ooh. His fizzle didn't work. Frizzle worked for 20 points. Woo, there we go. Beat his first form. Okay, this is where it glitches out. Doesn't matter what the that we can't read it. He got the first hit. I'm gonna strike him once. We have to mid-heal. I'm just choosing these based on the fact that I know where stuff is in the in the menu did did my did my magic work it feels like my magic is not working like i just have to because it's not hitting him. I'm just going to have to use my regular attack and cast heal spells. Can we do it? Can we do it? Do we have enough magic points? Do I get two attacks? No. Mid heal, here we go. He does a regular attack, thank goodness. Alright. He does a regular attack, thank goodness. Alright, we got... No! It was too close. So, by the points, this means if he attacks twice, I still have to mid heal. Because then I'm within a one shot of his his dragon breath. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll save the game real quick. Yep. I think we can get it. I think I've got enough magic points that it's possible. Especially now that I know that it's pointless to use Frizzle on the Dragon Lord's second form. I guess the game tells you this. It's like only Erdrich's sword can pierce the scales of the Dragon Lord. I should know that. It, the magic doesn't work. Mid heal is my only option. And that's fine. That's fine. 
We're gonna run it again. I think we can. I think we can defeat him. I think we can take him out. We're gonna. We're gonna beat this game. We're gonna defeat the Dragon Lord. Walk home to the victory music. Talk to the king. And uh, and call it good. I'm very excited about the next game I'm intending to play on stream, which will also be a role-playing game. And it will also be ROM hacked, but I think the hacks for the next game, I think were tested a lot more thoroughly than, than the two that I put on here, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, going through the tunnel. The next game is Final Fantasy I Restored. I guess I'll go back to regular view here since we're not facing the Dragon Lord. Um, yeah, so Restored is fun. I, I think it might do some... Um, I, I can't remember if it has any graphical updates or not, but it basically bug fixes the game and and maybe does some some text tweaks here and there. I'll have to read up on it again, but it's it's everything you love about Final Fantasy One except that all the spells work, which was not true of the original localization. There were many many bugs, just things that had were supposed to have a particular effect that never had that effect or spells that you could that you could cast and it would consume your points but it would just never do what it's supposed to do i just assume that was uh yeah everything everything that's in the game works in this in this rom hack uh it's it's a it's a cumulative ROM hack. There's so many hacks for Final Fantasy 1, I, I think, because it's a, uh, just a, at least in North America, a more popular game than, than Dragon Warrior was. But in any case, uh, there's been a bunch of different fixes over the years and, and ways of tweaking things. And I think this one that I've, I've used has combined all of the best fixes and tweaks. I'll have to look it up to, to uh, know exactly what everything does, but I'm excited because the game was already playable and fun, even, even with the presence of the bugs that it had, because you don't really know whether things are working when you're playing at the age of 10. You don't really know. As long as the animations happen and it takes your magic points away from particular spells, this kind of thing. It's like... Looks like it works. Why wouldn't it work? You don't know. You think you just have bad luck in certain situations or whatever. But... Obviously, with a lot of attention over the years, people have figured everything out and put together a version where things are functional. So, and I think some of the buff spells, the like, uh, there was one called Temper, I think, uh, which is supposed to increase your attack points or your attack percentage or something. Um, it's like a black magic spell. And I remember trying to use that in battle and not having any real idea whether it worked or not. Alright, I don't want any more Star Weavers in my life. I just want to take the fight to the Dragon Lord. That's it. We're running away from everybody. Except for this guy. This guy I will fight, because I can hit him in two, and it's not that big a deal. I can walk off the damage I take, just 
just gotta walk it off. Yeah, I, I guess I'm surprised in retrospect how much of the game was broken. I think there are certain swords that were supposed to have a particular, like, uh, elemental magic to them or whatever. Uh, or, like, you can, you can, oh, I didn't get, I didn't get, well, we're going to have to spend a glow. I didn't pick up a torch. And I don't feel like wandering around in the dark, so... We'll attack a werewolf, why not? Alright. But yeah, there was, there was a whole bunch of things in Final Fantasy 1 that were broken. Did not work as advertised. Why did I attack this fool? Can I hit him in two at this point? Whatever, I just don't... I don't want to deal with the Star Wyvern. Why is he blocking me? He doesn't even like me. <sighs> Tedious. Okay. There we go. Moving right along. Running away. Alright. Wake up, wake up. Run away. There we go. Moving right along. There we go. No more Star Wyverns. Stairs. Stone Man, I would love to tangle with you, but we're just doing Runaway right now. Whoop. So I'll have to get out my charts. I have all my maps and posters and guidebooks for Final Fantasy 1 from the original packaging. It leaves some question marks on certain enemies and and so forth where it, it doesn't give you a hundred percent of the information but it gives you like 80 or 90 percent of all the info. Sorry, we are not doing extra fights right now. Here we go. Around the U-shaped hallway. Ugh. We run away. Don't have time for you, Armored Knight. We have a Dragon Lord to defeat. We have an appointment with your employer. I will be sidestepping the security today. Ain't got no time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Dear security, no. Yep, I'm gonna pull my, uh, my Neo effect and just, like, waltz around the bullets. Do my flippy flips. Get through security lobby. Alright, I'm gonna do a little walk back and forth to make sure I have all my points. And here we go. Alright, note to self. We will not be using Frizzle on the Dragon Lord. I'm just gonna smack him around. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Did I? I thought I accidentally said yes to him. Woo! Alright. I was like, no, I don't want to die and have to run back here. Okay. Not that we wouldn't come back anyway. Fizzle. The spell will not work. Perfect. He attacks once. That's fine. I think we're going to get him right here. No, he's got one more. Alright. That stinks. We didn't do as much damage. It took four hits instead of three this time. Alright, we attack, heal first, I think it's going to be every other, um, 
Yeah. His attacks are small. It's his it's his fire breathing that is the real trouble. Ah. I feel like Yeah, okay. It's weird, but because we can't read the numbers, I feel like I have more information when the screen is pink. Alright, he attacked once, I attack once, he does fire, down in the pink zone, as expected. And this is our plan. We just hit, and heal. I need to look up how much his damage does. Dragon Lord. Second form. Attack strength is 140. Yeah. I might as well just alternate heals. No sense to be risky about it. He's got 130 hit points. And I don't know how much damage I'm actually doing. Um... Yeah. There we go. All right, gotta play it safe. Tempt not the fates. Mid heal. Doing a regular attack. I attack. Alright, I'm going to take a risk and attack a second time. Please don't fire breath. There we go. Got lucky. Got an extra turn. Alright, there's fire breath. We attack one time. We mid heal. I did not keep track of my magic points. I don't know how many of these we have left. We got to be getting close though. Got to be getting close. Still good, still good. Attack once. Whew. Tell me we still have magic points. Alright, taking a risk. Attacking twice. Ooh, close. Close, close, close. We've gotten lucky twice. We are out of magic points. I could try to use uh, an herb. Herbs will not cut it. Do I just attack him and see if we're close? Yeah. That's all we got. Okay, let's see. Yep. Death should not have taken the... I'm trying to defeat the Dragon Lord. Woo! I wish I knew how much damage. Might need to hit 21st, yeah. Just for the extra, you know, evasion and strength and all that. Um, as well as probably a few more hit points, a few more magic points. I'm pretty sure it's beatable at 20. I'm pretty sure I've heard that that is the case. So we'll we'll spend points on repel and we'll do we'll do just uh, another experience point experience point run. We will fight everyone. Take their points for ourselves. Um, another note on battles and death, I was playing some more, um, I, I wasn't falling asleep as quickly as I would have liked last night, so I played some more Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1, 
and I'm continuing to jo enjoy the the way that they've designed the game to be tolerant of uh, like restarting. Like if you die, you can start right before the battle that you just lost. And, uh, it's just, it's just friendly and convenient. Being able to do the battle again is a good quality of life thing. Yeah, it's like we've, we've all, most of us played enough RPGs that there's no reason to send us all the way back. Although, I'm intending, again, for, for like, the next project to make this an unlockable thing. Where, at the beginning... You go all the way back, but it's it's not it's not that far. So, you know, like won't matter that much. But as soon as your world starts to expand, you get an item that allows a certain amount of these gameplay options of like, oh, I've got the ability to um You know, save your experience, got the ability at some point to teleport you to wherever you last were adventuring, that kind of thing. Um, I guess I also like that they, generally speaking, not everywhere, but in a lot of places in FF7 Remake, they give you the blue bench and a vending machine <laughs> uh, before you're going into a dangerous area or a boss fight or something. Oh, I suppose I can. We're 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 getting experience points. I can fight this guy. I think he only died at the very last battle. I thought it was specific to that fight. That's funny. You must be better at RPG than I am. I die a lot. It takes me a while to like learn what's expected for particular things. I uh, I was defending the pillar from Shinra Electric Power Corporation. Um, they were trying to drop the plate on Sector 7. The jerks. And, you know, Barrett and the crew were out there doing their part. But, you know, I assume nobody in this chat is uh, going to be concerned about spoilers. But, yep, we lost some good people along the way defending that pillar. Many emotionals were had. And I made it up to the top. And... They brought back the Turks. Which I knew, based on the way they did the... Previous fights, that they were going to bring them back at some point. But man, I... My dudes just die a lot, and I've got... I was just getting used to having a healer in the party, and now I'm back to... Uh, Barrett, Tifa, and Cloud. And... I feel like I made a bunch of different materia configurations that I thought would help, but like... But man, I just... I just died. I don't know how to keep away from damage. They just have too many big, big attacks. And sometimes the AI controlled dudes can't avoid, like, they don't avoid the area of effect kind of stuff. And they've got a bunch of those in that um, fight with the Turks. 
Rude and whatever the other guy's name is. I just don't know. That is one scene that changed from the original. I can believe it. It seems like it's sort of, as far as I can tell, it makes sense in context. Um, although there's some like narrative tension in the sense that the red haired dude, what's the red haired guy's name? It's in the Turks, I cannot remember right now. The red haired fellow is. I don't know. He they had that yeah, Reno. He he like it doesn't like the mission. He's like not all about this plate destruction thing. He seems to be totally cool with fighting Avalanche. He seems to be totally cool with murdering Avalanche. He seems totally cool with like blaming stuff on Avalanche that Shinra is doing, like they're doing damage and trying to place blame on the eco terrorists. But he doesn't like this particular mission of destroying the pillar or dropping the plate or whatever. Why am I still asleep? Rock wakes up. Come on. There we go. All right. We'll do a little mid heal here. So there, there was some interesting tension, but then he sort of shrugs it off and goes, eh, too late now to grow a conscience, I guess. And that was, that was sort of a f funny turn. It makes me wonder, like, where that's going, or if that was just a way. If that, if if the rooftop scene and the fight with them is different than the original, was this narrative turn just a way to bridge the gap between the old story and the new story, so that they could set up the fight that they wanted? Like, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, made me wonder where that was going. And in any case, someone survived that whole encounter who did not survive in the original game. Interesting. I guess we're doing more treasure runs here since um, since we've decided we really need to be at level 20 to overcome the wily ways of the Dragon Lord's ultimate form. So we'll we'll just keep doing treasure treasure room runs. We'll get our wings, we'll get some herbs every time. Mmm, should be able to get him. Yes! 100 experience for a red dragon. I like that. Probably gonna have to do a mid heal on the first turn here. Yeah. Red Dragon is still mighty. Snooze! Well, there goes, there goes that run. Oh, no! I woke up. It's not over till it's over. Oh, he snoozed me again. Rock awakes, rock awakes. Yes. I'm gonna chop you down. He put me to sleep twice and I still got his experience points. Still got it. Alright. Fizzle. There we go. His shenanigans are blocked. We'll frizzle this guy. There we go. No healing for you. There we go. 
only 70 for him. All right, go into the treasure room. Go into the treasure. Gonna get me a lot of treasures. Snooze. You snooze. You die by the sword. We shall snooze you again. Be snoozled. Stay a snoozled. You know what else might be interesting? If we have a sleep spell in a game, and the sleep spell is always some number between one and, you know, five, six turns, something like that. It would be interesting if, if on the last turn before they wake up, there's a message like, uh, That they're, that they're like stirring in their sleep or something. Something to let you know, like, on the last turn that they're about to wake up. No frizzle for you. I have blocked it. I sort of don't like the names of the hurt spells in, in this updated translation, but it is fun to say that I fizzled his frizzle. That part is fun, but it also gets confusing to say it over and over, like which spell we're talking about. Hey, magic key. Do I get an herb? Unfortunately, it is empty. We have taken all of the treasures. Fizzle. Blocked you. I fizzled your frizzle too, Mr. Wizard. Nothing you can do about it. Let's consult the cell phone. 1500. That's not even that far away. That's only 15 red dragons. Stay asleep. No. I'll just fight him. It's gonna take some of my hit points, but I think we got him here. Yep. I'm doing I'm doing big damage. We're okay. 65. That's not as good as a hundred. I like making a hundred. Alright. Spell will not work. But I want the spell to work. Fizzle. There we go. Ouch. I'm going to have to cast a mid heal now. And then I will cast Frizzle. Which I think will finish him off. Yes. Very good, very good. Blocked. Man, the spells in this game are so well designed. For, for what this game is. It gives you an answer for everything. It's, it's more difficult in some encounters than others. You can't use all of the tools in every fight, but generally they give you a decent list of tools. Excellent move. There it is, 102. I will take it. We will put this guy to sleep.
whatever. We let him attack us more than he should have, but but whatever. Attack before I was ready. That's not so good. All right, we have one mid heal, and then I don't think we have enough to cast evac. I'm not sure. Excellent move. That's exactly what I wanted. I think it's time to cast evac. I guess it's only six points. Item. Wings. Alright, NPCs hogging the bridge. Come on. I just want to go sell this cursed belt. Sell. I do not need a cursed belt. Yes. Is there anything else I can sell? Nope. All right. I'm going to go get our magic points. We'll save our progress. I think we might be able to level up in one more run. In which case... If all goes well, we might be able to beat the game in two more runs to Shrylock Castle. Which is pretty fantastic. I would like to beat this game today. Twelve hundred. Eh, maybe one to two more runs. I guess we only got like three hundred experience on that run, but whatever. Yes, we wish to continue. Take care and tempt not the fates. I'm gonna take another quick break uh, to grab a little a little snack. I will return momentarily, and we will go we will go level up and see if we can defeat the dragon lord again. All right, we'll see you in a couple minutes.
Just double checking, we'll go ahead and save the game right here. 1200 points to go. Yes, we're going to continue. Getting some more experience points. Gotta go fight some more dragons. Do a little rappel, cut down on the riffraff on the way over there. Okay. Man. Part of me is tempted sometime. I I don't I don't know if I will do this really in game, but part of me is curious. To see if uh, to see if I can put the Dragon Lord to sleep. It's got 15 out of 16 resistance to the sleep spell, but that means if I could put it to sleep, we could potentially get a bunch of free turns out of it. <laughs> and I I kind of I kind of think it would be fun. Like in an emulator with a with a save state where I can try it a bunch of times to see if I can get a run where where I put the Dragon Lord to sleep in his second form. In both of his forms, he has the same resistance, but I have a feeling even if I were to put him to sleep in the first form, that he would be automatically awake when he transforms. Alright, I'm just going to do wizard. He's got his spells, whatever. Doesn't matter. I can hit him in two. As long as he doesn't put me to sleep, it's not that big a deal. Only a couple enemies that use the sleep spell in here. This is one of them, but I also don't care. He is... Oh, he's dodging. That part bothers me. I don't like people dodging my attack. Item. Still don't have a torch, but it doesn't matter because we're doing leveling up. Fighting everybody. We will fight the werewolf. It'd be cool if you could sleep him and it ended up being a long sleep. Exactly. Having like, oh god, if I had five turns just to wail on him. He's got 130 hit points in his final form. And his agility, which I think also is his like defense stat in this, is 200 versus the form one agility of 75. And we're, we're feeding Dragon Lord regular mode in three or four hits. 
If we can get him in three hits, that's helpful for us because it cuts down on the amount of damage we take before going into that last form. But, um, but it also basically means, I mean, I might be able to use that ratio, um, to estimate how much damage we're doing, um, in, in our attacks on his second form. Basically 30 set, like quick calculator ratio says 37 and a half percent. 75 out of 200. So I, I don't know exactly if that's how it works, but I think it's a, probably a safe assumption that we're doing less than half the amount of damage to his second form than we would do on the first, because otherwise 130 would be really, like, not take that long to overtake, unless he's keeping our, our attacks down to, to a minimum. So on, on the next attempt, I'll look at how much damage we're doing during his first... Why am I fighting a Star Weaver? He's just gonna mid-heal himself over and over and over. Come on. There we go. Caught him breathing fire. Now he'll die. Surely. Surely he will die. Okay. For 43 experience, that's not even worth it. Okay. That's why we don't fight Star Weavers anymore. Nice long walk to recover health points. And a blue dragon. That's what we like. Okay. So yeah. So I'm going to look at how much damage we do to the Dragon Lord's first form the next time we fight him. And use that as an estimate of what our average attack is going to be in the, in the second form. I could also just like look at like a video on YouTube to see like other people that are running the Dragon Lord at level 20, like how much damage they're doing. Okay. Looks like we need a mid heal right here. There we go. Dragon. Very good. I don't even think we need to really bother fizzling a wizard anymore. We can pretty much always hit him in two. children in the room. Hello, Papa. Alright, I'm gonna mute for a second. I'll be right back. Um, do I have a button? I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's see. We defeated a blue dragon, and it looks like we are headed toward the last couple levels of the castle before we get to the roof. I'm just gonna straight up fight this guy. Uh, I forgot he's got mid heal. Locked. Locked your spells. <sighs> do a mid heal to stay in action. <sighs> that spell has been blocked. There we go, seventy points. We gotta be somewhere close. Let's see. 426. That's good. I think it was 1200 when we left the castle. It is dodging. Jeez. Excellent move. That's what we like. Love it. Love it. Excellent move. Fantastic. Probably still going to have to cast a mid heal on the next fight. But we'll see. Maybe not. He's not going to do 28. Yeah. Mid heal on next fight. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, go into the treasure room. Attack before I was ready. Yep. Here we go. Mid heal. And we'll fizzle this guy. The spell will not work. Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time. The spell will not work. But it will work. It's only like a coin toss. The spell will work. <laughs> if you just let me cast it. Dang it. Alright. We're just gonna smash his face. I forgot that I can frizzle these guys. I don't need to cast all these spells. I just need to hit him once and then frizzle. Or frizzle and then hit him once. There we go. That's much more expedient. Door. Alright. Take. Unfortunately, it is empty. The cursed belt. The wings. The gold. Probably empty. And a key. Very good. Stone man. We'll go ahead and put him to sleep. The spell will not work. Oops. I want to just try and sleep him again. Can we frizzle him? Let's find out. Nice. That was probably like two hits worth. Plus an excellent move. Very good, very good. We're just gonna wander around this room. It's a nice room. Nothing, nothing really hidden anywhere. It would be cool if there were some secrets in the Dragon Lord's castle. All right, gonna open with Frizzle. He attacks, perfect, and then we smash him. 
for the kill. That's so good. I just need to remember all of my defensive maneuvers are optional. When we are doing so much damage. Ooh, he could have killed me there. All right. Oh, there it is. We got the level. Courage and Wave served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increased by four. Thy response speed increased by two. Thy maximum hit points increased by eight. My maximum magic points increased by 13. That is awesome. That means we've got a whole nother like level of I mean we, we get at least one more mid heal in terms of magic points which is amazing all right let's attack a red dragon Ugh. rock awakes rock awakes mid heal Breathing fire. Can I frizzle a red dragon? I guess I don't need to. He's already dead. That was like three attacks, I think, plus a heal. Turn one, frizzle! Pow! 58. Mmm, I triggered his, his healing. We'll do two frizzles. There we go. I suppose I should turn one attack these guys so that I don't trigger their like low health like healing maneuver. We'll attack first and then we'll do frizzle. Keep him confident. It's the same number of turns for me regardless, but less less chance for him to recover. Attack before he's ready, whatever, whatever. We attack him once, 28 damage, not bad. Shoot, we've got to play it safe. Tempting not the fates. I don't know if we have enough for an evac. Now we... I'm gonna have to fight him the old fashioned way. Just hope he doesn't mid heal. Running out of magic points. Gotta catch him. Gotta catch him looking. Can we get him in one? Alright, we gotta run away. We've blocked. We can take one more hit. Run successfully, go, but blocked. Alright. Death warp. We need to go back to the castle anyway. How does the Dragon Lord get so many cursed belts? Is it like kosher pickles? Get a rabbi to curse the belts on restocking day? Um, probably not a regular rabbi, but there could be like a special, you know, uh, clergyman of some kind in the Dragon Lord's employ who specializes in belt cursing. Maybe he imports them cursed. Maybe they're cursed on the castle grounds. Hard to say. 138 hit points. 128 magic points. This is a good situation. I, I, wish, I wish I knew how or why the final screen was so glitched. Something is very wrong there. The offsets for the for the text and, and menu drawing are just all wrong. But I, I feel like we can still win this thing. We have the power. Alright, I'm not casting repel because I wanna save Oh, this means we need a torch also. I'm going to go back and get a torch so that we can save 100% of our magic points for spells. Or, I guess glow doesn't cost 
eight points, and that means we have we get to cast it twelve times. So never mind. I can cast glow because since it's it's not like I have an even one hundred and thirty magic points. So whatever. We'll be fine. Precursed belts. Precursed belts. I think these are significant. Um, because adventurers are big on special gear. I think the only problem is, is that while they're still in stock in the treasury, they're still labeled as cursed belts instead of like magic belts or like super fun belt plus two or something. You know, like, because it's labeled as cursed. You sort of know what you're getting into. Um, it's apparently like a common enough phenomenon that in the town of Breckenry, there is a guy who specializes in removing curses, which means he's he's run into some fools that wore the curse of Belt. I think there's a cursed necklace also. Which means people are just looking at the bling. They want to be all fancy. And don't realize that when it says cursed belt or cursed necklace. That it actually will curse you if you put it on. Cursed belts are component materials for non-cursed belts. Plus two belts start off as cursed belts. See? That's a good question. He's... You know, Dragon Lord's probably very clever. I was just thinking of it as it's sort of an entrapment scheme where he's going to label them as good belts, but sell them or offer them as, as actually, actually cursed. Maybe curse is the name of the Dragon Lord's company. They're not cursed, they're just cursed belts. But you know, linguistics, right? Right. Sometimes the brand name becomes the colloquial name, like rollerblades are actually inline skates, but because rollerblades were the biggest, coolest name for them, brand-wise, they became known as rollerblades. And that's why Kleenex are called Kleenex and all that sort of thing. Curse brand belts just became popularized in, in Alfgard, at least in the area of Sherlock Castle. So, you know. Hey Verka, we're talking about why the Dragon Lord keeps a steady supply of cursed belts in his treasury, and why every time we go up there to steal his loot, there's always another cursed belt to be found. And like, you know, we're trying to explain kind of the backstory of this whole game. <laughs> uh, for, you know, like the odd elements. We're looking for explanations. So far, we've determined that the Dragon Lord, are, the Dragon Lord, despite being someone who is interested in ruling all of Alephgard, he flays all his defeated opponents. Oh man, that would be scary if the cursed belts were made of his fallen foes. Or something like that. Um, but we've determined that mostly that he he props up his villainy and power, hence the name Curse. Yeah, that's that's a pretty dark explanation, but it's plausible in context. It just means there have been a lot of adventurers that have fallen to his might. I mean, he's killed me at least at least four times already. Um, so, you know, it's a real possibility. And I don't know how King Loric resurrects me. Maybe my body is always left in the Dragon Lord's castle. And he gets me a new one somehow. I don't know. But yeah, we're, we're supposing that he props up his villainy with, a uh, business. Side business. He deals in cursed bouts. Oops. I don't need to search. Just need the stairs. Um, 
All right, we're gonna cast one glow, and ideally no other magic until we get to the Dragon Lord. And we're gonna start running away from everybody. We're gonna save all our resources for the Dragon Lord. We're actually gonna do a Dragon Lord run right now. We might beat the game. We might, we might. Yep. We just got to level 20. We've got all our spells. We've got a good amount of magic points and health points. So... Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. So I'm just running away from everything while we make our way up to the roof. We could, we could be on our way to victory right now. Time will tell. Got no time for you, Blue Dragon. We have to, we have to go murder your employer. For the sake of all Aleph Guard. Alright, alright. I see you blocking my way, Stone Man. Yep, yep. All your friends trying to block my way, too. But I got no time for ya. No time. Attack before I was ready. Breathing fire. Doesn't matter. We run away. We run away. There we go. So the cool part is, even if we take some damage in our attempts to run away, we've got the best armor in the game which recovers health as we walk at a pretty steady rate of like one or two hit points per step, which is pretty good. So. Depending on the encounter rate and how easily we run away, we should have all our hit points by the time we get to the Dragon Lord. Almost there. Okay, we're up on the roof. No time for you, sir. He's got all his security beefed up here on the roof, but... We just, we just say no. No means no. He tries to ignore me, but I'm very insistent that I not play their game. I only want to talk to the Dragon Lord right now. Come on. Running away. Locked in front. Fine. Okay. This guy's going to try to put me to sleep. Rock awakes. There we go. Run away. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Yep, we've already got our health points back, and here we go. Alright, we're going to zoom in. Zooming in for the battle with the Dragon Lord. He gives us a chance to stand beside him, but he's a liar, so we say no. Alright. 31 hit points of damage we're doing. Trying to look at how much damage we're doing. There we go. Three hits. So it's all about 30 damage. So the game glitches out here because I have a couple of ROM hacks. Okay, he attacked first. That's bad. Um... We're going to do an average of 10, 12 hit points of damage to him every time, I think. Which means we have to hit him 10 times. He just attacked me once. I don't know for how much because we're having to do the last fight in glitch mode. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and attack him once. He's going to breathe fire. I'm going to heal myself, and we're starting with something like 13 
times that we can cast our heal spell. All right. All right. And basically, we have to alternate between healing ourselves and attacking him. With very few exceptions, we pretty much just have to alternate. And since I don't know how much health I have, it's extra crucial that I play it safe. I should be trying to count how many times I've hit him. So that I can try to keep track of this. Fire, attacking once, breathe fire twice, heal. Alright, I'm going to take a risk here. No, I shouldn't. I think he breathed fire on the first turn. If he attacks twice, I can take a risk, but not if he breathes fire. Yeah. Gotta play it safe. I might be taking less damage for him, but I'm not confident. We did level up a little bit ago. So, it, it's possible that I'm taking less damage, but... I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so every time he breathes fire, I have to be conservative. And yeah, see here he goes breathing fire. Fire is his big damage move. I much prefer to be attacked. Oh, I'm out of. This is it. I'm either going to kill him. Or, that's it. We dead. Yeah. So, at this point, it's going to require some luck. I'm going to have to take more risks because I can't hit him enough times to get to 130. And this is assuming I'm doing like 10 points of damage. Or better. Which I don't know. Well, we'll go ahead and save our progress, because why not? Really want to beat this game! We could continue leveling, or we can just take a, another shot at the Dragon Lord before we decide. This could be the run. Yeah, I think the trick is, last time, I took a few more risks in terms of when he was doing hit hit like regular attack I was able to um, get an extra swipe in here and there I think progress is too slow when when I alternate perfectly conservatively on the, the heal and attack and heal and attack. I've got to get a second attack in a couple of times, and I also need to probably slow down and just count my resources so that I can figure out what's, what's going on. Because all I really have to go by is whether my screen is pink or, or white. Am I healthy or not healthy? So, I'll, I'll do one more Dragon Lord run just to see if I can get it. 
If not, we'll level up again and just pad out our stats. Make it a little easier to uh, weather the storm. Big damage is fun, I'll tell you what. Being strong is nice. So many werewolves over here. Excellent move. Kapow. I'm fighting enemies just because if they don't do that much damage, we might as well get some experience in case we need to level up again, which we may have to do. Level 20 victory, I think, is pretty aggressive in terms of the balance of the game. news. Come on, rock awakes. There we go. Kapow. What you gonna do about it? Magic Wyvern. Oh, smash the knight too. There we go. before I was ready. I don't even want to hang out with you, Star Weaver. As I said, don't even want to hang out with you. Alright. Or your friend. I just don't want to. Here we go. Alright. Recovering our hit points as we walk. More Star Weaver. Don't want to hang out with them. Green dragons. This is fine. We can do business. Man, I can't believe they only hit me for four damage right now. They were hitting me for like 35 damage at a time when I first ran into green dragons. And back then I only had like 30 or 40 hit points. So, alright, so we'll cast our one glow for three magic points, and we will do our tour of the, come on, do our tour of the castle. Wizards, no problem, I don't even care about the frizzle, we will get all those points back shortly. Green Dragon. to do some good bookkeeping on our next Dragon Lord encounter. I'm gonna have to slow down and actually record what he's what attacks he's making as well as what I'm doing. Let's 
25? Wait, what is my maximum? Twenty-eight. Okay, thought thought I had more, but I do not. Okay, Drizzle. Man, these guys wearing me down. Not that it takes much to kill him, but all right. Where are we at? Looking at our level situation. Twenty-seven hundred to the next level. Blue Dragon. Attack before I'm ready, like you do. Alright. Looks like this is not going to be a, a Dragon Lord run, since we're getting entangled in fights where we have to spend mid-heal. Might as well. Might as well. We'll just, we'll just max out the experience points. Get one more level. That'll give us a little bit of room. And maybe it will get us one more cast of mid-heal for the final battle. If we do this one more time. What? Come on now. Blue Dragon. Can't just be dodging my attacks. Can I defeat him before he attempts to snooze me? Yes. That was a good good exchange there. Can defeat the wizard in two. Not bothered. It took, did that take me three hits? I feel like that took me three hits. Darn, random number generation. Alright. We'll go ahead and snooze this fella. Take all his points for ourselves. Woken up. Should have him though. No! I thought we'd have him in that last attack. Now we get the excellent move. I guess forget uh, leaving my, left my cam on zoom in mode. Stairs. Okay, we'll do a treasury run because why not? Snooze. Attack. Fifty points we did on that one. F almost forty points. Man, he's got a lot. I'm glad he stayed asleep. Snooze! Why well, you gotta be waking up all the time? I much prefer to defeat you while you're asleep. Probably should have cast Snooze again, but what are you going to do? Alright, attack first, and fizzle him on the second. Frizzle, rather. Woo! That was a little bit of a gamble. If for any reason that had not... 
defeated him, I would be dead. Magic key. Empty. No herbs on this run. Gold. Wings. Yes. Cursed belt. Wings are more useful than a cursed belt. All we can do with the cursed belt is... <laughs> no, I, I really don't want it. It's fine. All we can do with the cursed belt is... Sell it. Frizzle. Spell. Frizzle! Once again, a bit of a risk there. Whew. Let me fight a dragon. There we go. 28! Ugh. He can't do 35 damage in one hit, can he? No, but he can snooze me. Alright. It's death warp time. Yep. Death warp! Let's do the death warp again. 2,171 experience. That was a good run. We didn't use our wings though. The only problem with the death warp is that we don't use our wings. Which clogs up our, our inventory. Which sort of makes me want to sell some wings because... Might as well. We don't need this many. Since we get a new pair of wings every time that we get to the treasury. And it's pretty... It's pretty solid that we do get to the treasury every time now. Alright. Yep. So, wings. Yes. Yes. So, those wings. Yes. Nope. What are we doing on herbs? Got all the herbs. Got so many herbs. Cursed belts and wings. Seems like perhaps the belt origin may be avian. They are wyvern wings. So they could be wyvern hide belts. Very stylish. Except they are cursed. But again, we don't know if the curse is incidental to the creation of the belt or intentional as an aftermarket upgrade for nefarious purposes, perhaps. Or indeed, if it's a colloquial misunderstanding, as you suggest, simple linguistic uh, issue. Crazy magician. Crazy magician. Crazy ghost. Alright. Druid. Alright. Here we go. We're going to keep fighting all the things except Star Wyverns. And Demon, uh, Demon Knights, of course, because we don't like Demon Knights. But I think, I think everything else we can handle at this point. Demon Knight draws near, and we ignore him, as always. Sitting over there doing his one hit point of damage. 
Star Weaver. I feel like if there was ever like a medieval fantasy version of James Bond, the Star Weaver would be a fun movie name. Star Weaver. And, you know, it doesn't have to be actual Weaverns. It could just be, like, project codenamed Star Weavern. Some giant nefarious weapon. Maybe, maybe he, uh, he has an adventure to a Mars colony on, you know, in the future. The distant future, the year 2000. James Bond goes to outer space. Dragon X. Why am I attacking a Star Weaver? Alright, well at least I can hit him in two. Now that we leveled up again. Green Dragon. Green Dragon is fun to say because it's um, in the Lord of the Rings. It's the name of the... the the greatest tavern in the Shire. You can keep your fancy ales. You can drink them by the flagon. But the only brew for the brave and true comes from the Green Dragon. That's, that's how I heard it said. Glow! Glow, Castle Glow. So yeah, earlier I was starting to muse on the possibility that artificial light, like big artificial light like this, would attract maybe more attention than a small light. Like, I wonder if it would be an interesting trade-off that if you use the torch, Something that was just natural, like fire, light source, that gave you a small amount of visibility. Um, and you can use it with the caveat that it doesn't reveal very much. And when you upgrade and you get some special artificial light, Oh, yeah. It would be interesting if navigating in the dark had super low encounter rate, but encounters were always ending the attack first. Yeah. So, like, in the tunnel where I know my way through and it's just a straight shot, I can walk through and usually not encounter more than, like, one enemy along a known path like that. I could use a small light source that would have a normal encounter rate and normal like chances for um like who attacks first and then a big light increases the encounter rate but lets you it you know m is likely to let you attack first which would make the big light useful for grinding and like intentionally fighting a lot of stuff and not getting snuck up on. That is, like, if there's three levels to it, that is exciting. Going in the dark versus low light versus bright light. That would be a fun combination. I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill this guy right here. Yeah. Okay. And he was not doing 30 points of damage at the time, so I can probably walk this off. There we go. Blue dragon. I'm gonna frizz him. Frizzle. Take that. I burn you up. Snooze. try a frizzle on a stone man. I don't remember if this works. 
60, yep. Woo! Still a lot of hits to take him out. Wow. Stone men are formidable in the number of hit points that they have. I can still do big damage, but it just takes a lot of hits to get catch up with them. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to make a note about the light level thing, because that is enticing. <clears throat> Breathing fire, that's good. Woo! Guess I have to mid-heal. If he does 33 damage, he might be able to do 35, and that's too much. Oh god, being asleep sucks. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Rock Awakes. Come on, Rock Awakes. Pow. Don't snooze me. Oh, wow, okay. Alright, that's sort of fine. Sort of fine. And remember, we attack first, and then frizzle this guy. He may have the power to kill us, but I don't think he'll have the chance. There we go. Alright, gonna check Gwaylin's love. See where we're at. 1300. I think we've gone about halfway from where we started on this last run through the castle. Going to the treasury, gonna take me a lot of treasures. Going to the treasury. Brep <laughs> dep. Magic key. Boop. Unfortunately, it is empty. Gold. Wings. Cursed belt. Unfortunately, it is empty. Stone Man. Stone Man is sleepy. Frizzle. Woken up. I will frizzle him again. The spell will not work. Can I only frizzle him when he's asleep? Let's find out. I don't know if it's just luck or... Okay, well, that stinks. Apparently he's got a coin toss kind of a... resistance. Mid-heal. News. Attacked him once. We'll frizzle him once. The spell will not work. I guess I'm just going to attack a stone man. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. So I can finish attacking you. Perfect. I really wish that there were secrets in here. Fight on the first, frizzle on the second. 25 damage. And... Sixty-one damage. Very good. Now we're asleep. Come on, Rock Awakes. Yes! I hit you again. I 
hit you again. Three hits for a red dragon feels really good. I'm sure we're not that close yet, but I just want to see a thousand... 1,053 or something like that. Attack before I was ready, so be it. Attack him once, 35. That is a good opening attack. And then Frizzle. It's so economical. Love it. Don't put me to sleep. Ooh, I can only take one more attack from him. Gonna have to mid heal. 33. Jeez. Mid heal. Here we go. 99. Rock awakes. Come on. Breathing fire. That's fine. Rock awakes. I attack you. And I attack you again. Can we get him in three? Nope. Okay. It's gonna be close. Rock awakes. One more attack. Here it is. That was done well. Woo! 29. Do we get it at 30,000? Is that our next? 883. Yep. I just really want there to be a secret somewhere in this castle. Snooze! Frizzle! Get him! Yes! Still asleep. Attack him again. It's 90. And another 40. Wow. Yeah. it's a lot of hit points. A wizard! I'm sure somebody would know about it if there was a secret up here and I would have heard about it, but I just I just really want there to be secret passages or something. I mean, I guess there is a secret passage in level 1 that gets you to all the real stuff, but I want there to be secret passages on the roof. Alright, he will kill me if this fails. And there it is. <sighs> Should have mid-healed. Attempted the fates. But that's okay. The cool part is we're going to level up real soon. We only have, let's see, 768 points. So again, we're at about a, like a two-run situation here once to level up and then we'll evac and go home refill our points and then we'll do another run on the dragon lord which may be maybe the last one we'll go sell a cursed belt while we're over here probably sell a pair of wings since we have two now we only really need one cursed belt 180 yes 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 and one pair of wings yep nope all good so I think the cursed belt is like poison in this game if you put it on I think you walk around and lose health points when you wear it And since it's not a battle thing, you know, like, having Erdrick's armor doesn't really, like, prevent it, even if it helps you recover from it or slows down the effect. 
I'm, I'm not really 100% sure, because it's been a long time since I've messed with it or attempted to wear one. But there is somebody in Breconary there who, who can remove it. I think that's the real curse. It's not just that it's bad for you, it's that you can't get rid of it yourself. That's what, that's what makes it dire and unhelpful. not much experience down here but I feel like I feel like this should be a pretty straightforward to get the rest of the experience points that we need on the way up to the roof again Scorpion I guess it would be cool if, you know, if there was an, another, um, like, mid-level boss fight somewhere in the, in Sherlock Castle, because there's, there's a mandatory fight with an Axe Knight to get Erdrich's armor, but there's no mandatory boss fight to get Erdrich's sword just the castle itself and all of its dangerous denizens and maybe they figured by the time you start adventuring here you know this will be challenging enough maybe without a boss fight just to get the thing because when people were first playing this before the internet era and they can't look up maps. They're going to be wandering all around the dungeon. They, they, the, you know, the, the passage to all the correct stuff is so hidden. You have to get hints about it. They've got these doors here. They make you spend your keys. And they lead to stairways that don't go anywhere. Like, they go into the castle, but they don't go anywhere where you can get stuff. There are no treasure chests. There's no way to get to the roof, and there's two of them. So you like fully explore one of those and figure out it doesn't go anywhere, and you're like, well, I guess I'll fully explore the other one, and who knows how many times um, you have to uh, go in if you die or have to retreat or whatever. Attack before I was ready. Mm. Mm. I much prefer killing these guys in two hits, but three will have to do. Cause that's what, that's what we got there. <sighs> Green dragon. Two damage he just did to me. And I got him in two hits. I like it. Cheap experience. That's what I like. So we have 372 experience points to get. Then we'll be at level 21. 
How many we get here? 54. Mmm, we getting close. Less than 500 to go. I don't want to play with the Star Weaver. They're just annoying. Extending the battle with their mid heels. Two hits to smack a wizard down. There it is. Excellent move. Love it every time. Alright. Near nearly there. Two hundred and fourteen points. It's not very many. Couple of red dragons. Red knights maybe. The armor knights rather. There we go. It's dodging and breathing fire. What a jerk. All right, there's one hit. Breathing fire, here's two hits. Don't use magic, perfect. There we go. Three hits, 100 experience. Love it, need 114 more. I think we'll have it in a couple of battles here. Here we go, off to the treasury. Attack on the first, frizzle on the second. I, I love having a game plan for almost every critter in here. Oh no, it wasn't enough. We frizzle again. One more battle and we'll have the level. Magic key. It is empty. Here we go. This is going to be the level up. Stone man is asleep. We'll try for a frizzle to save ourselves a little bit of time. Very good. And we'll do the rest in regular damage. There we have it. Courage and Wit have served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Power increased by 3, response speed increased by 2. That feels small, but 11 more hit points and 7 more magic points, which means... We have 135, which means we can cast a glow to get through the castle and still have 13, 13 attempts at uh, mid-heal for the final battle. We'll go ahead and grab the loot. We'll head home and save the game. Oop. And that will be time for another quick break. Unfortunately, it is empty. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and save. Evac. We're going to go ahead and use one um, of the wings that we just got. And we'll go get our magic points. We'll save our progress. And I'm going to have a... Sh a bit of a break, five or ten minutes, and we'll come back and perhaps make the final run on the Dragon Lord. Nearly there now, nearly there. Victory is within our grasp. Might take a couple runs, but I think we can do it. Boop, 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 there we go. 
Alright, we're saving. Yes, recording the deeds. Yes, we wish to continue. Alright. Gonna go into break mode. I'll be back in 5 or 10. Gonna check in with the fam real quick. And all that stuff. We'll see you in a few minutes for the run on the Dragon Lord.
Okay. Had a little break. Gonna go see if we can smash the Dragon Lord to the Splinterines. Not that it matters much, but I'm gonna head over here and offload any loot we don't need. Probably have another cursed belt or something to get rid of. Um, yeah. So, okay. I almost used the cursed belt. Which is not what I wanted. Uh, we only have one wings. That's fine. Alright. Out, out, out of my way. There you go. This is another thing. If I have NPCs that wander around in a game, I really, really want to make sure that if I bump into them, that that interrupts their wander routine such that they will they'll pick an open space next to them and go to it. Alright. So... We are conserving magic points. I could cast Repel. I think Repel is just two magic points. And Glow is three. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we'll cut down on a little bit of these frivolous encounters. We'll have exactly 13. Did. Yes. Level 21 has been reached. And we're gonna. We're gonna make a run. Gonna go see the Dragon Lord. And see if we can. See if we can put him out of business. Our stats are 149 maximum hit points, which is fantastic because that's going to give us room to do two attacks between heals. Yeah, let's see. 90, 140, or... Er, One point five. Yeah, so his regular attacks will be fifty percent more in his second form than his first form. So we can use we can use these things to estimate where our hit points are at. I am excited about the possibilities. So if he can do, let's see, breathe fire, uh, breathe fire, oh, inflicts 65 to 72 damage. Some of that we're going to absorb. actually know exactly what our absorption rate is, so we're still going to be estimating. But I feel like our chances are good. At level 21, we're going to have a lot more options just by virtue of having more hit points. Yeah. Demon Knight. I don't need you in my life. Regular night, I don't actually need you in my life either. 
Okay, commencing runaway protocol. Even though we can't defeat these fools, we're just trying to make a quick run up to the top. Almost there. I only have at most 20 minutes to continue playing right now, so we probably only have time for one attempt. Just gotta run up there as quick as we can, do the encounter, and leave it there for today. Um, we've got another night of fundamental training at the boxing studio tonight, and my ride will be here at like quarter to six, approximately. So, we're running right up to the edge. There we go. We've spent all the magic points we can spend on little spells with that cast of glow. And here we go, running away from fools that aren't worth our time, which is all of them. You cannot be blocking me. Oh, come on. Come on. What a waste. There we go. All right. Running away. Don't got time for your seven damage. Don't got time for your four damage. Let's go. Wow. Encounter rate is just really... <laughs> Really, it's it seems like it's sensing <laughs> that I'm making a run on the Dragon Lord. Every step, every two steps, every three steps. Lock the front. I could smash you. I just, I just really don't want to. Just really don't want to do all that. Come on now. If Repel would do any good in here, I would use it. I would go buy fairy water and sprinkle it all over. But we don't have it. Man! RNG is just being real fussy right now. Alright. Oop. Stairs. <sighs> One. Two steps and another encounter. Yeah, come on. I wonder if run... Running... Affects encounter rate differently than succeeding at a battle. Like, if you win, does it reset? If you run away, does it, like... Make it smaller before your next encounter? I don't know. I do not know. Don't got time for you, Stone Man. Not today. Here we go. Home stretch. <sighs> Run. And run. Here we go. Up on the roof. Stone man. We run away. Attack before I'm ready. Chance frizzle. It's a shame. Blocked in front. Still running. Blocked in front. Come on. There we go. Give me a chance to recover all my hit points. Blocked in front. Blocked in front. We're gonna have to use herbs. If the walking doesn't get us back to full health, just 
going to use up herbs because herbs are no good in the last fight anyway. So we can use them all up if we need to. Okay, item, herb. Herb. Alright, here we go. Fighting the Dragon Lord. This is our last attempt of the day. Waiting long for one such as thee. Okay. No. Alright, big hits, big hits. Come on. 24. He's doing 8. Based on the math, that means the attacks are going to be really small. Okay. From, from the second form. Smaller... Because his attack power is only 50% more. Okay. 42. Casting Frizzle. 22. Okay. So we got him in 3. 119. And 130. He breathed fire on his first... First time up. I can't tell if that's just the fire for his animation. I think it might be. But that means we're going to be at around 50 hit points. But I, I feel like that was just his opening animation. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do a mid heal just to make sure. Fire. Um, attack. Mid heal. Attack. Okay. If my max is 140 some odd hit points. I should be able to attack twice if I'm not in the pink. Okay. Yes. There we go. Okay, he's attacking. That's a small one. I attack him. That's a small one. Mid heal. Okay, that's a big hit. And a small hit. I'm going to attack him again. Okay. Yeah. I think we have enough points to make it. Perhaps being of legal level to drink is the key to fighting the Dragon Lord. <laughs> yes. I think so. Okay. In the pink. Need to heal. Mid heal. Regular attack. That's a small one. I attack. He does breath. Okay, time to heal. R small attack. I do a regular attack. He does a regular attack. That means I can do one more of these. No! Too close. Too close. He must have got a lucky roll on his fire breath. We should have been okay. Or it was at least possible that we would we would be. I don't think I have time for another run today, so we'll have to call it here. But I'm pretty sure we've got enough points to make this happen. So, next time, next time. Maybe, maybe even later tonight after boxing, if I'm feeling like it. I really want to beat this game, so... We might uh, come back and do another stream later. If not, I'll do one tomorrow afternoon to finish it up. But maybe tonight. I'm excited. i got to go do the boxing thing, get some fitness happening, and uh, I will be back later on. Thanks, DDM, for hanging out and watching and chatting. Next time we defeat the Dragon Lord and curse company <laughs> yes we must put an end to the influx of curse belts in alice guard
It must happen. It must happen. All right. I'm out for now. We will catch you later. See you next time. Bye.